welcome back to my channel. So today we have a review of the latest release from DKNY. It is um, the summer version of DKNY Woman 2022. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs to the original. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes here. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this. I try and review all the new releases. Um, so do check out my other videos. If there's a perfume you can think of, I probably have a video on it and if you are a regular viewer then do check to see if you're actually subscribed and turn on your notifications and don't forget to support my kickstarter campaign for my fragrance that i am creating link will be down below along with the link to where you can buy the new dkny woman 2022 for summer and i'll put the links to uk europe north america australia as and where it's available the dkny woman the original one can you believe came out in 1999 so it's over 20 years since the first version of this came out isn't that crazy i think that original version might be discontinued and instead it's dkny woman energizing which it comes in this transparent bottle just like the original woman um, and it also is that same citrus fresh scent that the original woman was. I remember um, Cashmere Mist was one that was always asked for um, when I worked in a perfume shop from DKNY, from Donna Karen, I think that was marketed, um, but that is discontinued. Um, but every year they bring out a different summer fragrance. They're usually really affordable. I think this cost me like 20 something pounds and it is 100 mil, yeah, 100 mil. It's an eau de toilette. So it's definitely made for hot summer days when you just want something fun, pretty, summery, carefree. And you could just go through your 100 bill this summer and not stress because it's only 20 something pounds. So I definitely like the smell of this. Um, it is an orange blossom perfume and black currant. So those are two of my favorite perfume notes. So you can see why I like it. And there's a little bit of cashmere in actually. You get the oranginess of the orange blossom, but it's floral, it's feminine, and then the black currant, but the black currant isn't sour and it isn't too, it's not like a strawberry either. It's quite a warm black currant, warm fruitiness. So it does definitely smell classy. Like you could definitely wear this to the office, to serious occasions. A lot of the summer limited editions tend to be quite like tropical, which is, reminds me more of like vacation, not really serious. But this, I think because of that orange blossom, you could definitely wear it to like any occasion, it would be appropriate. It's just a pretty feminine smell. Um, it's definitely light, like I'd recommend quite a few sprays, spray it in your hair, and you're gonna wanna top it up. But for that price, you don't mind topping it up, right? And it feels pretty durable. I think you could definitely carry this around, it wouldn't break. Yeah, in terms of lasting power and projection, it's definitely not great for either. Um, but if it's really hot, you don't want that, right? Because it can get quite sickly. So I think it's just fun, easy going. If you're looking for a gift for someone, we have Mother's Day coming up in the US soon, and you're looking to spend like 20 something pounds, I think this is a pretty safe gift. It's just a pretty orange blossom, like hard to dislike. And you could also use this to layer on top of other orange blossom perfumes to add something a bit more to add that black currant. So, you know, you could layer this on Ellie Saab, Armani My Way, the um, Volsia Viva from Valentino, like any of those, if you just wanted to add a little twist to it, you could mix it or wear this during the day and then one of those on top in the evening would work fine as well. So I think it is Soki approved. It's not memorable. It's not groundbreaking. It's not different. It's but it's nice, it's pretty, it's inoffensive, and it's good value for money for 100 mil. So any DKNY fans, if you like your lighter fragrances, if you like the original DKNY Woman energizing version, then you'll probably like this, um, and you can mix it with that as well. So yeah, guys, let me know what your favorite is from DKNY. Were you a fan of the cashmere one? Like, which one did you like from the discontinued ones as well as the current ones? Let me know in the comments. I do read all your comments. Um, but that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video.